But um, what would you say if somebody, when he, upon hearing what you said, um, that you actually um, rejecting God's law? It's not God's law. Who are they to say it's God's law? Are they God, were they appointed by God? Show me the proof. Did they sit in a cave and get a revelation? Show me the proof. The last prophet was Muhammad. Nobody else. I think the man-made laws has got nothing to do with religion. You know, you must remember that the time when they had those types of punishments was a time uh, where there was no police, there were no jails, there was no central government as such. People were living in tribes, in communities. So they had their own justice system. Now we have a to totally different uh, system of government. We have the police, we have uh, courts, we have jails, we have everything. We don't need it. Actually, I keep saying that I think the police should be insulted that anyone wants to implement Hudud because it means it's a failure of the police. Somebody gives an argument that there are actually guidelines to um, implement Hudud. For example, if you take an example of cutting people's hands, surely there must be a guideline before you can actually cut somebody's hand considering um, what type of crimes that they actually committed. Do you trust it? That's the thing. Do you trust them to follow such guidelines? I mean, you look at what's happening in Malaysia, are people actually following guidelines? No, they're not. So you'd have to have a completely incorruptible system. Do you trust the system to be incorruptible? That's an issue. You know, lots of people don't trust the system because they think it's quite easy to bribe people to do what you want. I think religion is personal. Because each one of us is answerable to God. Nobody can intercede for us except the prophet. Um, so how can you know somebody like an authority, like a bureaucracy, tell us uh, what to do? So I think religion should be kept out of our personal life uh, because it really is intervening so much more that you find that Muslims in Malaysia are far more restricted than non-Muslims, and you know. This is crazy because I believe that Islam is a very liberating religion, not a restricting one. So, yeah, I think we should dismantle the Islamic bureaucracy because that's what it is. It's a bureaucracy. They have to find work for themselves.